edition of SOMA. Today, we look at 2 Thessalonians 3.16, and we are going to be talking about all we need, all we need. Uh, let's read the scripture and find out what Paul has to say to us about this um, subject. Now, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. This is a benediction as Paul just finished writing to the Thessalonians, his the second, the second letter, and he's encouraging the saints uh, by way of a prayer. Christ is coming, those are part of the conversations he's had with them. Uh, saints need to pull the line. Uh, no laziness, uh, and, 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 and uh, rather than that, they, they're supposed to be bearing of fruits. And so in all they are going through, Paul ends this letter by saying a word of prayer for them called the benediction. Now, what do we need to get from this benediction, even for us in these times that are turbulent and, and quite difficult? All we need. That is the conversation that we want to have. All that we need. So the Bible starts by using that word. Now. Now. He says, now may the Lord of peace. Not later. Not a futuristic thing, but an immediate thing. Why? Because God surpasses all of time. He is with us now. And so Paul is praying for them and is telling them, now, and despite the things that you might be going through, now may the Lord of peace himself. And therefore, one of the things in just that word, just that word, uh, it brings to us the reality of God's omniscience and omnipresence. He knows everything that we're going, to, that we're going through. And Paul is praying for them. And his desire is not for tomorrow, when you guys wake up tomorrow or next month or next year. He's praying for these Thessalonians. And his prayer for them is present tense. Perfectly so. Now, 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 now. I think that one is very critical for us to understand that God, as we are praying for people, as we are thinking about the times that we are going through, we need to be cognizant of the fact that God is present. He's not the God of just yesterday. He's the God of today, yesterday, and tomorrow. He's the God of now. But Paul moves on from there and says, now may the Lord of peace, he says there, may the God of peace, this one, himself. And so let me start by looking at uh, this aspect of it first. The Lord of peace. Paul is saying and is directing them to this person. He is the Lord and he is the Lord of peace. A few things that you need to note there as we think about what we need even during such times that we're going through. Peace is the presence of God. In all that we go through, peace is all we need not an absence of calamity. It does not mean that, oh, we will not have trials, we will not have difficult times, we will not be in question. No. Peace basically means that the presence of God is with us. God's presence and power that takes us through everything that we need. Think about what the psalmist says in Psalm 23. He says, the Lord is my shepherd. It does not say the Lord will be, the Lord was, the Lord is going to be. No, he says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. And that one basically means saying I shall not want. That means I will be satisfied. I will be content. I will be at peace. And so Paul is praying for them and telling them, now may the Lord of peace, and that is another thing, God is our peace. God owns peace, if you can put it that way. God is peace. Jesus is our peace. He is our focus. He is all that we need. And so Paul, in his prayer, he starts by pointing the Thessalonians to what we really need, or rather who we really need. Now, may the Lord of peace. Then, of course, he comes there by way of repetition and he says himself. He has already said, now may the Lord of peace. But he is there himself. May that God himself, that God himself, may that God give you peace. I think it is important for us to note the emphasis that is given there um, by Paul. A repetition, that means um, it is something that we must pay attention to. Uh, no one else, no pastor, no elder, no friend, no music, but God himself is saying, may this God, now may the Lord of peace. 
he himself. I think it's important as we go through difficult times for us to remember that God is not just going to send some random guy from somewhere to come and be with us. God comes by himself and he ministers to us by himself. And so he says, now, not, 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 not tomorrow, now, may the Lord, this one who is always with us, never putting us in a position of want, the one who always makes sure that we are satisfied and content despite the things that we go through, may that God himself do what? Give you peace at all times. Give it at all times. Just said, ask, speak, and knock. And when you do that, he promised that when we ask, we receive, we seek, we find, if we knock, the door will be open to us. He says, that God himself will give you peace. He will give you himself. If you are saying that God is our shalom, so it's basically saying now, may this Lord of himself, of peace, himself, give you this peace. Give you himself. He's not going to give you just an angel or just no. He's saying he's going to give you himself. He's going to provide for himself and, and, and to you rather uh, in a way that is fitting. If we call out to him, he will respond. It's all we need. It's more than money. It's more than food. It's more than um, companionship or education. It is more than anything that we could ever do with in such difficult times that we're living in. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace. And we, we are tempted to run to many other things oftentimes. We need to be reminded from this scripture that even as we uh, think about things that we might be going through, well, let us be reminded that God desires us to have him because he is all that we need and Paul of course continues to add and he says at all times at all times may this God of peace give you peace how often at all times at all times not not sometimes that means you know that it's it's, it's, it's whether it is uh, it is morning, it is noon, it's evening, it is summer, spring, autumn, or winter. It is in the peak of the seasons, so whatever time it is going to be. This God is able to give you peace at all times. Jesus said in Matthew 8, 20, that behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. I'll be with you always. He is with us always. And, and when we are going through tough times, we need to understand that God will provide for us himself at all times. We will never be in lack. We will never be in want. He will provide for us himself at all times. But also, he says, in every way. In every way. Not just in some ways. That is also very important for us to understand. Because sometimes we just think, oh, there are some situations that God does not see, that God does not care, that God is not part of. No. But he says, in every way. In every way. So, basically, he's not limited in how to express himself in our situations. He is, I am. That's what Moses uh, knew God as. I am. He will be what he's going to be, when he's going to be, and how he's going to be. He is I am. He is all that we need. And so he's saying, may he give you peace at all times and in every way. He comes through and fits in our every situation because he's all that we need. If it is emotional, if it is spiritual, if it is physical, whatever it is, God will is able to give us peace in every way. And then, of course, Paul finishes by saying a very basic statement, the Lord be with you all. That's a very interesting and very basic way, yet very heavy, for, for him to finish this benediction. That's the most comforting prayer to lift for people. That's the most comforting prayer that you need to, to hear today. God be with you. Not only abilities and, and, and provisions, but God. Not other people, the Lord. Not the things that He can give, but the Lord. Because sometimes, with the sinfulness of this world, we may not have many things that we desire. But when we know the Lord is with us, that is all that we need to know. He is with you in all things because He is all we need. He is real, more real than everything that you can ever ask. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, in every way, the Lord be with you. I don't know whatever it is that you may be going through today. I think that's a very basic prayer. What do you need? We might think, oh, I need this and that, I need this and that, but ultimately, we need 
the Lord. And that is all that we need right here. So, despite whatever you're going through, be reminded, my friend, that God is all you need. And when you come to Him, He is the Lord of peace, and He will give you peace at all times, in every way. Father, we thank you that your provisions are unending. And we thank you for all that you have done for us. Now, I commit ourselves to you that whatever things that we might be going through, that Jesus Christ, you are going to remind us that you are all that we need. Therefore, provide for us this peace, Lord, and let it be our guide and our shield through all these things. In Jesus' name, Amen.